set a bouquet. I didn't mean to. She just... What? She assaulted you? Do you want me to call the cops? Look, it just happened, all right? Why do you even want to be with me? I've never dated a smart girl before, only hot ones. Good God. I didn't mean to. Um, can you just... Thanks. I always got your back. That's her. You sure she's the right girl? She is perfect. She is pretty. Miss Natalie Kelson is just the right bait to catch her little fish. <laughs> I thought you were gonna call. Sorry, battery died again. Uh. You need a new phone. I need a new life. You uh, want to talk about it? Hey, Natalie. Didn't realize it was a date night. No, no, we were just... Uh, I really don't need to know. Nat. <laughs> call you yet? My phone's dead. Hopefully so is he. Dude, that kid was training wheels. <laughs> You're gonna be getting so much action in college. Ivy League action. Hey, guys are the last thing on my mind right now. I just want to get out of this town. I feel. So, how's the old man taking it? You leaving it all? He'll be fine. He's got his girlfriend. Jenny seems cool. Why you gotta be hating on her all the time? I don't know. She's just... <sighs> Not your mom? I miss her so much. Yeah, I know. <sighs> She'd be so stoked to see you right now, <laughs> following in her footsteps. Speaking of which, check this out. Dude, I don't read Latin. Dude, it's Greek. Delta Psi Beta. A sorority. Only the most prestigious one in the country. Why would you want to hang out with a bunch of whack-ass prepster girls? My mom is a Delta Psi. Still, I mean, my mom used to say that her sorority sisters were closer to her than her own family. I'm going away, I'm going away. It's been good being home. But I'm moving on And I know That it's been so long Yeah, I've got this fear But I can't face it here Oh, this time I won't look back I won't look back Check the glove box. <laughs> Sweet! Awesome! I got myself one, too, so we can do that video chat thing. If you want. <laughs> Maybe. If you're not too cool. Thanks, Dad. It can take what may come, but it may change who I become. And I know that it's been so long. But I still got this feeling I, I can't believe it. I'm walking and keeping Charming. on track. Yeah, I've got this fear, but I can't face it here all this time. I won't look back. This is it, huh? This is it. Oh, leave it, Dad. I'll do it later. So who's your roommate? Her name's Sophia. We Skyped. She seems chill. I'll be fine, Dad. 
And I will. Your mom would be so damn proud. You think? She loved this school. Really loved this sorority. Thanks, Dad, for everything. No speeches. Your restraint is admirable. <laughs> Call me, okay? I mean, when you have time. On the new phone. Going away, I'm going away. It's been good being home, but I'm moving on. And I know that it's been so long. Yeah, I've got this fear, but I can't face it here all oh, this time. I won't look back. I won't look back. How can you be sure he'll go for her? A little program I acquired. It's the same algorithms they use on those dating sites. Here, look. They are both into electronic music, hiking. Doesn't necessarily mean love connection. They both lost parents. That'll help. I know. It is. Oh, she's beautiful. You guys kind of look alike. Oh, uh, oh. thanks. <sighs> OK, let's go check out the real estate. You don't want to unpack first? Later. There are boys out there. <laughs> Eco Club? You Please. have an objection to cleaning up the planet? Hey, I recycle. <laughs> They're cute. Well, mega move frat boys. We can do better. What's wrong with the fraternity? I mean, I'm pledging a sorority. Me too. Which one? Delta Psi. Me too. <laughs> really? Why are you so surprised? You just, you just don't strike me as the type. Well, what type? You know, uber status conscious, overprivileged rich girl. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a legacy. Same. My sister was Delta Psi. My mom. Huh. Guess they must look at those roommate surveys after all. <laughs> okay, so what was wrong with the frat boys? It's all about which fraternity. Omega Moo is strictly business class. <sighs> it's true, they are. <laughs> it's beautiful. Hey, this is one of the oldest buildings in the city. I'm talking founding fathers old. Cool, I guess. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. This dress feels weird. It looks stunning on you. I'm so glad it fit. I think the last time I wore one was my confirmation. I think it was 12. You're Catholic? My mom was. She's not anymore? She actually um, passed away. Oh my god. How long ago? I was in 10th grade. Good evening, ladies. I'm Leanna, head of the Rush Committee. Sophia Davis. Monica's little sister. Guilty. And you are? Natalie? Kellison? Hi. Natalie's an architecture major. Very talented. Really? Mm -hmm. My parents have a freight board right home. Oh, wow, that's impressive. I mean, I'm more of an I am pay gal, but. Well, have fun. Well, she hates me. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're charming. Awkward, charming, but still. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> There's the girl we really need to impress Alexa Cooper, sorority president. Her father's a congressman. Well, I mean, should we go talk to her? You never approach Alexa, OK? She approaches you. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hi. Alexa Cooper. I know. I mean, I... <laughs> sorry. I'm Natalie. Natalie Kellison, freshman, School of Architecture, 2200 on your SATs. 2160. Well, I was rounding. But either way, rather impressive. I'm good at taking tests. We'll have to see about that. What else do you know about me? Everything. <laughs> Everything to do with your application, that is. I make it a point to review legacies personally. And your mother was a remarkable woman. Successful architect, charity fundraiser, big shoes to fill. Yeah, they are. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks. That was weird. Natalie, you've made it to the next round. Tomorrow night, midnight. to rent a dress like this. Don't worry about it. Today's little shopping excursion is on me. No, I couldn't. Uh, to be precise, it's on my evil ex-stepfather. He burned my mom so bad, he's still paying for it. <laughs> hey, super cute. Look amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. You have to wear that. Right? Yes. This sorority is our family. That you are standing here today means that we see something in you. A certain potential. Few have it, and even fewer are able to realize it. In order to become one of our sisters, you will have to prove to us you have what it takes to realize that potential. As you stand here in the darkness, look deep into your heart, into your soul, and ask yourself, do I have what it takes? Sit down. Your time has come. Are you ready to face your challenge? Uh. Yours is a quest. For you and you alone. You may not share these details with anyone. Not your friends, not your family. No one. Do you so swear? I, yeah. You say, I swear. I swear. 
Now open it and read it aloud. I, Natalie Callison, will... Read it. I, Natalie Callison, will seduce a young man of the sorority's choosing. I don't think I can... Silence. You do not speak. You do not ask questions. You have until noon tomorrow to accept this quest. Do so, and you become one of our sisters. Don't, and you'll live forever in obscurity. Spill. They said not to tell anyone. Mm. Anyone outside of the sorority. They want me to seduce someone. Oh, that's so much better than mine. I don't know if I can do it. Of course you can. Who's the guy? Or is it a girl? <laughs> it's a guy. But I don't know who it is yet. Does matter. Guys are all the same. Little smile, little skin. Boom, you're in. <laughs> I don't know, it's just not really my style. I mean, besides, I don't know how far they want me to go. Nat, hello, this is college. You're bound to have some random hookups. This one just gets you the golden ticket. Yeah. Ready for your feature to begin? Sumner Williams, sophomore, varsity track team. Here, I'm sending it to you. Ugh. My ex was a jock. You don't have to marry him. What exactly do I have to do? Get him to notice you, get him to go out with you, and then... And then what? Take him back to your room and rock his world. So you're saying I have to sleep with him? We're Delta Psi, not the Bunny Ranch. You do whatever you want, just make sure he's into you. Are we good? We're good. Here's his class schedule. He'll be getting out of econ soon. Go get him, little sister. Well, look at you all 21st century. Hey, can you see me okay? Yeah, I can see you, Dad. What's up? Oh, no, nothing. I just had to try this out. Pretty cool, right? It's cool. I got Jenny one, too, but she's not too crazy about this whole video thing. Yeah, well, the picture isn't always flattering. Nat. You know, someday you're gonna have to give her a chance. Hey, look, Dad, I gotta go. I'll see you soon. Bye. Uh, excuse me. Can you help me? I'm looking for the Bregman building. Bregman? Bregman, that's across campus. So you go past the admin building, and turn left, walk for about 30, 40 yards, and it'll be you know, I'm really bad with directions. Do you think you could show me? I... Yeah, I've got a class. Please, I'm sorry. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like school. It's all right. What's your major? Mechanical engineering. Really? I'm in architecture. Got something in common already. Uh, I'm actually more into the industrial applications of things, so oh, okay. I don't know. Any, anyway, that's Bregman up there. I've, I've really got to go. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, wait. I didn't get your name. Sumner. I'm... Well, thanks. Sumner, I'd have been lost without you. But hey, can I make it up to you? Maybe we can go out to coffee or something? Uh, sure. Why don't you put your number in here? Yeah, okay. Ah, this'll do the trick. That'll turn a trick. Isn't that the idea? Thanks for offering, but I think I'll just go with my own stuff. Okay. Um, well, you at least have to let me do your makeup. Oh. Um, 
You never go into battle without war paint. Ugh. I don't know if I can go through with this. Look, it's not like they're gonna be in the room watching, okay? Just get the guy back here and do as much as you feel comfortable doing. None of this feels comfortable. You never asked them? <clears throat> they, um, they died when I was pretty young. It was a car accident. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, Danielle pretty much raised me. We should do it again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <sighs> Good night. Uh, night. Good night. You call that seduction? What? It was a first date. Oh. God, it was like watching Lady in the Tramp. You were watching? Of course we were watching. The Delta Sides are fierce. We get what we want, and we get it when we want it. You're gonna have to show us more. A lot more. Well, what do you want me to do? Whatever you have to do to make him want you, need you, lose sleep over you. You have one more chance to prove yourself. One. So, you actually like the guy? I mean, I didn't expect to, but... Yeah, kind of do. Is he into you? I mean, there were moments I thought so, but then... I don't know. Look, you don't exactly have the luxury of a long courtship here. Okay, you need to close the deal. Well, I'm not just gonna jump into bed with him. I mean, even if I could. You can, and you should. Or at least some major making out. You need to show these girls what you're made of. What am I made of? Nat, you're like one of the coolest chicks I've ever met. And I roll with some pretty cool peeps. I just can't imagine my mom doing anything like this. She was so respectable. She was also young. I guess. You know, it'd be a shame if I had to join without you. Got in? <laughs> Don't decide forever. <laughs> Bro. How you doing? How was your day? Oh, good enough to give me another one tonight. Look at you. Yeah. I hate to ask again, but. No, no, it's no problem. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I will pay you back. Yeah, I know you will. Have fun. I will try to have fun. Have a good day. Okay, bye. First time we met, we both had the feeling this could be it. Yes, this could be for all time. Now with regret, I can't see the reason. Just why I'm not yours and you still are mine. Yes, I've been. What are you doing here? I'm so sorry. Sophia gave me her key. It's midnight movie night at Delta Psi and she was on dessert duty. May I? Sure. Brownies. Double chocolate fudge. I love fudge. Who doesn't? Here, have another. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm good. You sure? Chocolate's a total turn on. Well, you two have fun. Oh, did you see that? See what? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Get off! Get off! What are you doing? Hey there, Steph. <laughs> Talk to your sisters. <laughs> Sumner! Sumner! Is Car still there? You <laughs> are <laughs> 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 Natalie, you have to see this. I've seen enough. You have to admit it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty messed up, is what it is. This will go viral for sure. You know what I think I might do? Edit a little bit, add some music. <laughs> yeah. Brownies. You put something in the brownies. She only did what she was asked to do. Yeah, Just like you. If I had known... Forget about him. Now that you're with us, you have your pick of the hottest guy on campus. Congratulations, Natalie Kelson. You are officially a sister of the Delta Psi Betas. I didn't know what they had planned, I swear. I thought the brownies were just for us to party. Some party. Come on, Natalie. Cheer up. You're about to sigh now. Is it the guy? Is that what's bothering you? It doesn't bother you. Look, when my sister rushed, she had to run naked across the football field during the game. It's all just stupid fun. Hi. 
Hi, you've reached Sumner. Leave a message. What about him? There was an accident. He's dead. What? How? His car went off the road. He didn't have his car. I saw him leave without it. Well, he must have come back. Are you sure? The cops were just here talking to the dean. He was already dead when they found him. Oh, my god. <sighs> Natalie, I'm sorry about Sumner. I still can't believe it. It was supposed to be a harmless prank. I never imagined things could go this wrong. You should have. Yeah, you're right. Of course. Look, I'm sick about it. Why did you even do it? I don't know. It's just... It was stupid. Look, I hate to have to bring this up right now, but it's important that our stories are straight. Stories? If anyone asks, we were all at the house last night. Why would I lie? And as sisters, it's important that we protect each other. I didn't even know what you guys were doing. But you were the only one calling or texting him. Are you threatening me? What? No, no, of course not. But if this gets out, I can't promise you that the other girls won't blame you to protect themselves. As far as anyone else is concerned, this was an accident, a tragic accident. But if it becomes anything more than that, we all have a lot to lose. Yeah, that's, that's him. My parents, my parents, um, Brother's personal effects. The uh, the coroner's report indicated that he had high levels of THC and MDMA in his bloodstream. Sweet Nixie. Do you know where he might have gotten these drugs? Sumner ran long distance. He never touched drugs. Danny. Almost everyone tries it once in a while. No, you, you don't understand. He always played everything so safe. I was trying to get him to come out of his shell. Well, maybe he did. No. Not like that. Look, drugs are a big problem on campus, even with all the ivy on the walls. If you hear anything, please give me a call. Yeah, we will. Thanks. I'm sorry for your loss.
There are times in a sorority where you're called upon to make sacrifices. I'm afraid this is one of those times. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry, Maddie, but I'm gonna have to ask you to move out of the house. Y you've gotta be kidding, why me? Well, ours is not to reason why. Caitlin will be joining you as well. I found a great two bedroom apartment right outside of campus. The truck will be here in one hour. I this is ridiculous, I'm not moving. Excuse me? I've done a lot for the sorority. I've earned living here. <laughs> We've done a lot for you too. Or did you forget about that little sex tape that we managed to squash before it circulated all over campus? I mean, it'd be a shame if it were surfaced. You wouldn't, please. There's nothing I wouldn't do for the Delta size. Absolutely nothing. Oh, there you are. I've been calling you. I'm not feeling very social. Alexa texted us. She's got good news. Come on, get dressed. Hey. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey. So, I know we didn't get off to the best start, but a couple of the rooms have just become available, and I nominated you both to get them. <laughs> I thought you had to at least be a junior to get in here. Seniors mostly, and even then there's a waiting list. So <laughs> why us? Well, I figured that it must be hard living in the dorms after everything that's happened. You both have shown such great poise in dealing with it all. The vote was unanimous. You can move in today. <laughs> but we had to sign a lease at the dorms. Oh, I spoke to the Dean of Housing. The Delta Sides do have some pull around here. Oh, that kid go on my room? Yes. See? I told you. Everything's under control. Guess you got a little more than even. Yeah, I feel bad for Sumner, but that bitch got what she deserved. You should take some time off work. I need to keep busy. Is there anything I can do for you. You know, the funeral. No. I'll handle it. I saw something small. I just wish there was something I could do to help. You already have. Feels like home, doesn't it? It's beautiful. I know. I trust you're finding everything to your liking. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Well, you guys should start getting ready. For what? Hello. Only the biggest party of the year. We co-host the Alfa Roros. No <laughs> way. They have like some of the hottest guys on campus. Oh, they do indeed. I think I'm just gonna lay low. Getting out's gonna be good for you. I have a car coming here at eight. You guys can ride with me. Get to know each other a little better. Let's go, Nat. It's party time. Girl. What? I don't know why I didn't think. Sumner was out with that girl that night. Natalie, here she is.
Do you think it's her? I'm sure it's all gonna find out. Mm -hmm. Danny, why don't you call the police? And let them handle it. You saw how the police reacted after I told them about Sumner. Mm -hmm. To them, he's just another statistic. <laughs> This is Danielle Williams, Sumner's sister. Could you please call me back? with mom and dad now. Hey, party girl. How's it going? Pretty rough. You know you shouldn't have gone. No one saw me. How did you know I was there? Sophia told me. She's worried about you. We all are. She called me. Who called you? Sumner's sister. Did you speak to her? No. I didn't. I can't. No, you have to. Or else it's going to look suspicious. W what am I supposed to tell her? As little as possible. Say that you were helping him with his homework or something. We didn't have any classes together. Look, you'll, you'll think of something. The most important thing right now is that if she asks about the night that he died, we stick to the same story, okay? And if she doesn't believe me? It doesn't matter what she believes. I mean, we have a house full of sisters to back us up. Don't you feel guilty at all? Of course I do. Look, if I could take it back, I would. But I can't. None of us can. The best thing that we can do right now is move on. Hello, who is this? Hi, uh, this is Natalie. You called me? Oh, uh, yeah, thank you for calling me back. Um, how well did you know Sumner? Not very. I mean, we met at the bookstore once. He asked for my number. That was pretty much it. Who you went out with? Uh, no, I didn't. But he said he was starting to see someone, and there are a bunch of calls between you two on his phone. Yeah, he called me a few times. I told him I wasn't interested. Why did you give him your number? I didn't want to be rude. So you have no idea where he was the night he died? I'm sorry, I wish I could help.
Natalie, I'm Danielle Williams. I, I was hoping that we could finish our conversation. Uh, how did you find me? I work here. I already told you everything. How about a coffee? It's okay. You were seeing my brother. No, I mean, I already told you. But you guys talked that night. He used his credit card for dinner. Over a hundred dollars. You think if I show your picture around the restaurant, someone might remember you? Okay, we had dinner. Why'd you lie? I don't know. I didn't want to get involved. We, we only went out twice. What'd you do after dinner? Nothing. I mean, he just dropped me off. What time? Maybe uh, 8, 8.30. Really? That's early for a date. I had class in the morning, so. It wasn't that long ago I was a freshman here. I know the scene. Parties, party favors. What are you trying to say? Maybe you and Sumner wanted to heighten the experience. A little weed, a little ecstasy? No, I don't do drugs. Well, neither did Sumner. Somehow, he managed to do a bunch. Enough to get him killed. Well, he didn't do anything that I saw. What did you do after that? I just hung out at the sorority. Which sorority? Delta Psi Beta. Oh, you're Delta Psi. Listen, I really have to go. Was Alexa there? Sorry? Alexa Cooper, she's the president. I really have to go. I'm Really sorry about your brother. Well, I did what you told me, I lied. Good. I knew you had it in you. Then she tracked me down. I mean, she caught me off okay, guard. Okay, calm and... down. What did you say to her exactly? Nothing. I mean, I told her Sumner and I had dinner once, but that I spent the rest of the night here. Good. Good, then we have nothing to worry about. Well, I'm pretty sure she didn't believe me. I told you it doesn't matter. She asked about you. She did. When I brought up Delta Psi. That's sweet of her. You two know each other? We have crossed paths. Wait, is she the reason? Forget about her. This is about you. Here. What is this? Greta Cummings, the architect. You have heard of her, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, she's cutting edge. Well, she's also an alum. And there's a summer internship coming up at her firm, and she wants to see you for it. Me? Yeah. This is how it works, girl. You are one of us now. And membership, it does come with its privileges. She knows what happened. I know she does. You're on shaky ground here, Danny. Using university records, interrogating a student. Do you think I care about my job right now? I think you should. This has something to do with Alexa Cooper. Can I bring me up to speed? Alexa Cooper. It's Harrison Cooper's daughter. But the congressman? Yeah, that's him. And she is daddy's little girl in all the worst ways. You really don't like this girl. I make it a point not to get personal with my students, but this one, she was up for a big internship last summer, and it was between her and another girl, and I recommended the other girl, who was better qualified, by the way. And they listened to me. Well, let me guess, Daddy didn't approve? I don't know, I didn't hear from him. But I heard from her. She called me every name under the sun, threatened to sue me, get me fired, you name it. So you think she drugged Sumner to get to you? I wouldn't put it past her. Greta Cummings. Natalie Kellison. Is that your portfolio? Oh, yeah. I really love your work. I mean, the way you find beauty in asymmetrical design. You've done your research. It's good. Delta Psi sees potential in you. So do I. Wow, thanks. 
Yes, well. How badly do you want to be an architect? Very. It's all I've ever wanted. Well, if that's true, there may be a place for you here. Are you serious? Work harder than everyone else. Be fearless in your design. And come see me in the spring. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Alexa, Miss Williams, can I speak to you? Of course. I'll catch you guys later. Small world, isn't it? How so? One of your new pledges was out with my brother the night that he died. Was she? You're too smart to play dumb. Not smart enough for you to recommend me. was you. My father pulled a lot of strings to get me that opportunity. And you just cut them. You gutless little you bitch. bitch. You killed it. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You disappointed your daddy. And you killed my brother. I'm sorry for your loss. But you are way out of line here. How can you? You killed it. You need help. Dr. Nyrock, you wanted to see me? Have a seat. Okay. First, allow me to offer my sincerest condolences for the loss of your brother. Oh, thank you. I got the flowers that you sent. They were beautiful. You've been with us almost 10 years now. Yes, sir. I trust you understand the various fiduciary duties we have as a university. Of course. Some very wealthy, very influential people have entrusted us not only with the higher education of their children, but often with substantial endowments. This is about Alexa, isn't it? I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you. But we can't have a member of our staff accosting students on campus. She's responsible for my brother's death. And we certainly cannot make unsupported allegations. I get it. Money talks. This isn't a matter of money. It's a matter of proper conduct. As one of the most esteemed schools in the country, we must hold ourselves to the highest of standards. Come in. Hey, what's up? Natalie left. What? What do you mean she left? Someone saw her leaving earlier. She had a bag packed. Dad? I didn't see your truck out there. Natalie, where's my dad? There was an emergency at one of his buildings. We were right in the middle of Chinatown. I'm gonna go grab some food. We made lasagna. Let me heat some up for you. Your father does nothing but rave about you, you know. He couldn't be more proud. He exaggerates. I doubt that. I know we haven't talked much. But I want you to know that I care about your father very much. He's the kindest, sweetest, 
most honest man I've ever met. The way he talks about you, your passion, your integrity. I would never do anything to hurt him. Or you. Ever. I'm gonna go. No. I mean, you don't have to. He'd want you to stay. chocolate yeah come on so I take it you two talked yeah she's all right I guess I know I'm just glad you think so too I'm happy to see you now but what are you doing here I just needed to clear my head there's this boy I met uh oh boy trouble already he died. What happened? There was an accident, a car accident. Wait, I think I read about this in the paper. Kid ran varsity track. You knew him? Not very well, but yeah. So there were drugs involved? That's what I heard. I'm afraid you're gonna see a lot of that in college. Yeah, I saw a lot of that in high school. How long can you stay? Just till tomorrow. I have class in the afternoon. I'll drive you. Thanks, Dad. So, that's the whole story. <sighs> okay, well, like, say you do the right thing and tell the truth. What's the worst case scenario? Some of the girls blame me. I get expelled, maybe even go to jail. Well, if you weren't involved, then there's no evidence that you were, right? We were out that night. I mean, he called me. And I already lied about knowing him. Well, you can't be the only one with a conscience. Like, can't you get one of the other girls to back you? No. I mean, they're all either too loyal or too scared. I never should have gone along with the whole thing. And you never should have pledged to that stupid sorority. But you're not responsible for this kid's death. It's all the stories my mom used to tell me about Delta Psi and how they supported each other, helped each other. These bitches have twisted it all around. So? <sighs> what do we do about this? Deja vu. I know, right? Nat, I get the feeling there's something you're not telling me. It's complicated. Anything I can do? No. Is there anything you can do? That's where it gets complicated. Well, when things get complicated, I like to simplify them. I wish it were that easy. I didn't say it was easy. You know, doing the right thing rarely ever is. How did you know it was about doing the right thing? Because I know you. And I know that look on your face. Just like your mom used to get. <laughs> look. Just know that whatever you do, I'll be there for you. Thanks, Dad. Hello? Can we talk? Sure. And I guess he must have gone back to his car, and by then, I mean, there was nothing I could do. 
And you really didn't know what Alexa was up to? I never would have been a part of something like that on purpose. I mean, even if I hated the guy. And I liked Sumner. I really did. And you're going to tell this all to the police? I will. But I think it might be better if I can find someone else to back me up. Those girls will never do it. There's one that might. They're meeting again. Doesn't look good. I see. Yeah, we're going to have to put an end to this. Should we prepare the package? Yeah, I'll let you know when they're ready. You can't go to the police. I have to. We have to. No way. You said yourself you didn't know what they had planned. No one's going to believe me or you, OK? These bitches mean business. So do I. Look, when I was making the brownies, Alexa had her camera. She'll make it look like you and I set up Sumner together. Unbelievable. It's what she does. Gets dirt on people and then uses it as leverage to get whatever she wants. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I really thought we were friends. Orange jacket, burgundy bag, that's her. Natalie Kellison? Yes? We need to search you. Search me for what? Hand over the bag, please. Raise your arms for me, please. What's going on? What are those? You tell us. It's not mine. Stop, it's not mine. Stop. Save your stories for the police. Don't tease me, dude. <laughs> Case number 14539-2, Natalie Jean Kellison, possession of controlled substances. Your Honor, if I may. Bryce Solomon, attorney for Ms. Kellison. You're the public defender? God, no. I represent Delta Psi Beta. Trial date will be January 24th. Bail is set at $50,000. Your Honor, please, I... Get your chance to speak at trial, young lady. Next case. so much for bailing me out. I didn't. He did. Actually, Alexa Cooper paid your bail. Why would she do that? She's the reason I'm here in the first place. This is perhaps not the best place to discuss the details of your case. Spend some time with your family. We'll talk soon. Great. Now, on top of everything else, I'm suspended for the rest of the semester. The school has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to drugs. But whatever happened to being innocent until proven guilty? Well, that's our law. The university has its own. You know, I still don't understand why Alexa would bail Natalie out. Plausible deniability makes her look legit. You keep quiet, the lawyer gets you off. Gets her off how? Bryce Solomon is a master of technicalities. The guy's got a flawless record. Natalie doesn't play along. He loses his first case in years, and she goes to jail. Either way, Alexa is above reproach. You know, there must be one of these other girls who's willing to stand up to her. She surrounds herself with people she can control. I mean, Sophia told me she has dirt on everyone, holds it over their heads. I've heard that, too. I just thought it was urban legend. 
So she would have kept it. She would have kept what? The memory card. She was filming Sumner and all the girls when they were messing with him. She was going to put it on the internet before, before he died. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Does she incriminate herself? No. I mean, she was holding the camera, but the other girls do. Yeah, but you can't just break into her room to get it. Well, she wouldn't keep it in her room. I mean, she has girls in and out of there all the time. She doesn't even lock her doors. If she does keep this kind of dirt on people, she must have accumulated quite a collection. Her father's house. She's there at least once a month. Well, you sure as hell can't break into a congressman's home. Well, I won't have to. I was invited. Alexa's birthday party. She has it there every year. This is crazy. If that lawyer can get you off, I'll hire another one who can do the same. You can go back to school, get on with your life, and forget all about this sorority. It's not just about these charges, Dad. Someone needs to stand up to this girl. I need to. For Sumner. For myself. I'm not going to lie and say I approve. But I'd probably do the same damn thing. Be careful. Alexa? My. You have had quite a weekend. Oh. Um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you for bailing me out. I mean, no problem. It's, it's what we do. I also just wanted to apologize. I, mean, I was about to make a big mistake. Were you? Let's just say I've had a bit of a wake-up call. And you're awake now? Wide awake. Good. It's good to have you back. All right, then. See you later. Oh. Hey. Hey. Look, I'm really sorry. It's OK. Just, I just feel like I got you into this whole mess. Don't worry about it. We're good. We're all good. So lucky for us, the congressman is a shameless self-promoter. He was featured in Architecture Monthly. There are seven bedrooms, two on the main floor, and five upstairs, including the master suite. How do you know that? I just extrapolated the data. There were also some photos I used from the magazine for reference. That is amazing. That's Natalie. Amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure Alexa is occupied while my lovely assistant, Nikki, finds out what room is hers. I already know which room is hers. How? Easy. The one with the biggest closet. How are you going to get it in the first place? I mean, you don't really look like a sorority girl. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. The party's being catered, so Nikki's going to pose as one of the waiters. Sadly, as an aspiring musician, I've had plenty of experience. How does that work? Wouldn't they have to hire you? These gigs are freelance. There's always new people coming in and out. OK, what about security? Her dad's a congressman. It's bound to be pretty tight. Well, it normally is, but her parents are out of town for the weekend, so she has the place all to herself. Her parents are out of town on her birthday. I know, right? What if she has a safe or something like that? I'll crack it. Just kidding. We'd be screwed. <laughs> Thank you, girls, for doing this. Someone needs to bring this bitch down. What she said. You really think she's come around? So it would appear. I still don't trust her. Like my daddy's fond of saying, you don't trust people. Own them.
Christian said no gifts. We can take them back. Oh, shut up. Okay. Put them over there, and I'll make yourselves at home. <gasps> Champagne, ladies? Yeah. Ready to put this tray down. You know I hate seafood. You're a rock star. I'll be right back. Uh, Alexa, oh, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna freshen up a little. I think I saw a guy and a girl heading into one of the bedrooms down the hall. Oh, it's cool. It happens every year. Uh, she looked pretty wasted, like she was gonna hurl. Okay, that's not cool. He went at it. Hey. Okay, you have to hurry. She's gonna be upstairs in a minute. Okay, there's a locked jewelry box in her closet. It's the only place left to look. Well, can you get it open? If I had some tools, maybe. <sighs> Never mind, just get out of there. There was no one in the bedroom. Oh, gosh, she must have been too drunk to, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, what are you doing up here? I was just looking for the bathroom. Oh, we have 11 bathrooms, but the one for the help is right down the stairs. Oh, my bad. No worries. Hey. You sure you looked everywhere? Everywhere, except for that jewelry box. Okay. <clears throat> We're not paying you to bother the guests. Oh, she's not bothering me. Yes, well, she still has a job to do, so if you don't mind. Okay. Just, uh, where do you think you're going? Um, girl problems. Trust me, you don't want to know the details. My grandmother's jewels. Beautiful, aren't they? I knew something was up. 
You gave in a little too willingly. Tell me, what is it that you're hoping to find? Hmm? Wait, let me guess. Drugs? No. The video? Of course. Because the video will prove your little story, wouldn't it? It's not a story. A guy is dead because of you. This is getting boring. You really think that I would be stupid enough to keep something like that? That's what you do, isn't it? Keep dirt on people? I thought you were smarter than the rest of them. Guess I was wrong. What are you talking about? I don't need to keep dirt, as you call it. I just make people believe I have it. But Sophia, yeah. I mean... Sophia is a needy little bitch that would sell crack to her mother just so she can be popular. All of these girls, weak, entitled, pitiful. The reason why they join a sorority in the first place is to fill some sad, miserable little hole in their heart. But you can relate to that, can't you? Right? Mommy's little girl. Go to hell. But I have to give it to you, though. You have some cojones coming in here going out Ocean's Eleven. You know what? <laughs> I don't care what happens to me. I'm going to tell the truth mm -hmm. to the police, to the university, to anyone who will listen to mm -hmm. me. No one is going to listen. Not without proof. How do you live with yourself? When I was younger, I used to spend a lot of time in this room. Anytime my dad would fight with my mom, or his second wife, or his third, I would come in here and just lose myself in all my beautiful clothes. Oh, I'm supposed to feel sorry for you now? But the most important thing I learned, I learned right here in this room. I'm the only person in the world that gives a damn about me. You're pathetic. If you don't mind, I have a party to attend to. Can you find your way out? Oh, silly me. Of course you can. You found your way in. for you guys, a birthday surprise for your girl, Alexa. You ready? Hit it. I don't need to keep dirt, as you call it. I just make people believe I have it. But Sophia. Sophia is a needy little bitch that would sell crack to her mother just so she can be popular. All of these girls, weak, entitled, pitiful, the reason why they join a sorority in the first place is to fill some sad, miserable little hole in their heart. But you can relate to that, can't you? Right? Mommy's little girl. Go to hell. But I have to give it to you, though. You have some cojones coming in here going out Ocean's Eleven. You know what? I don't care what happens to me. I'm going to tell the truth. To the police, to the university, to anyone who will listen to me. No one is going to listen. Not with other How do you live with yourself? Natalie Kellison, upon review of your testimony and the testimony of so many of your sorority sisters, it is the decision of this committee that you be reinstated immediately. Thank you. What about Alexa? What happens to her? Ms. Cooper has elected to withdraw her enrollment in the university. She's also resigned as the president of Delta Psi Beta.
compliments to the chef. Dinner looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. <laughs> A toast to the things we've lost and the things we've found. That's great. To family. To family. Cheers. Cheers. একটা দেশের সবচেয়ে মূল্যবান সম্পদ হচ্ছে দেশটির টাকা এটা ছাড়া একটি দেশের গুরুত্বপূর্ণ কার্যক্রম অচল হয়ে পড়বে থমকে যাবে পুরো বিশ্ব এখন প্রশ্ন চলে আসতে পারে একটি দেশের সরকার কি চাইলেই ইচ্ছা মতো টাকা ছাপাতে পারে কৌতুক জায়গাটা অস্বাভাবিক নয় যে সরকার কেন টাকা ছাপিয়ে দেশের মানুষের হাতে হাতে দিয়ে দিচ্ছে না বা দেশের অর্থনৈতিক কার্যক্রমগুলো আরও সচল করছে না কিন্তু প্রশ্ন হল মন চাইলেই কি এত এত টাকা তৈরি করা সম্ভব যদি সম্ভব হয় তাহলে কেন ইচ্ছে মতো টাকা ছাপানো হয় না এর পেছনে রহস্যই বাকি চলুন জেনে নেওয়া যাক সব কিছু একটি দেশের টাকা তৈরির দায়িত্ব সেই দেশের কেন্দ্রীয় ব্যাংকের এক্ষেত্রে বাংলাদেশের কেন্দ্রীয় ব্যাংক হল বাংলাদেশ ব্যাংক বাংলাদেশ ব্যাংকের তত্ত্বাবধানে দ্য সিকিউরিটি প্রিন্টিং কর্পোরেশন বাংলাদেশ লিমিটেড টাকা ছাপিয়ে থাকে তাহলে বাংলাদেশ ব্যাংক চাইলে কি বেশি বেশি টাকা তৈরি করতে পারবে অবশ্যই তা হওয়ার কথা নয় কারণ একটি দেশের কেন্দ্রীয় ব্যাংক টাকা প্রিন্ট করে সেই দেশের অর্থনৈতিক অবস্থার ওপর ভিত্তি করে এর মাঝে আছে ওই দেশের মোট সম্পদের পরিমাণ মোট চাহিদা জনগণের মোট উপার্জন প্রত্যেক দেশই খুব নিয়মতান্ত্রিকভাবে নিজেদের প্রয়োজন অনুসারে এই টাকা ছাপিয়ে থাকে যদি সরকার ইচ্ছে মতো টাকা ছাপিয়ে জনগণের হাতে দিয়ে দেয় তাহলে কি হবে চলুন একটা উদাহরণ জেনে নেওয়া যাক যেহেতু মানুষের হাতে অনেক অর্থ থাকবে তাই সবাই চাইবে তা দিয়ে নিজের প্রিয় জিনিসটি কিনে ফেলার মনে করুন আপনার হাতে প্রচুর অর্থ সরকার দিয়ে দিল তারপর সেই অর্থ দিয়ে আপনি একটি গাড়ি কিনবেন ঠিক আপনার মতো অনেকেই সেই গাড়িটি কিনবে যেহেতু গাড়িটির উৎপাদন সীমিত এবং অল্প সময়ের মধ্যে কোম্পানি আর উৎপাদন করতে পারবে না তাই তারা অতিরিক্ত চাহিদা বিবেচনা করে গাড়ির মূল্য বাড়িয়ে দেবে এভাবে ঠিক অন্যান্য ক্ষেত্রেও দ্রব্যের দাম বৃদ্ধি পেয়ে যাবে তাই অতিরিক্ত অর্থ কোনো কাজেই আসবে না এখন নিশ্চয়ই বুঝতে পারছেন কেন ইচ্ছে করলে সরকার টাকা তৈরি করে জনগণের হাতে দিয়ে দিতে পারে না এবার প্রশ্ন আসতে পারে ইচ্ছে মতো টাকা ছাপিয়ে জনগণের হাতে না দিলেও নিজেরা তো বড় বড় প্রজেক্টের কাজ নিজেদের টাকা দিয়েই করতে পারে এখানেও ওই একই ব্যাপার আসবে কেননা সরকার টাকা ছাপিয়ে বাজারে ছাড়লে সেটা ঘুরে ফিরে জনগণের হাতেই চলে আসবে অধিক উৎপাদন না করে যদি অধিক অর্থ বাজারে ছাড়া হয় তাহলে দ্রব্যের মূল্য বেড়ে যাবে যথেচ্ছভাবে টাকা প্রিন্ট করলে তা অর্থনীতিতে কোনো অবদানই রাখবে না এটি শুধু দেশে অর্থের প্রবাহ বৃদ্ধি করে দেবে যা দেশের জন্য অত্যন্ত ঝুঁকিপূর্ণ তবে একটি দেশের সামগ্রিক উৎপাদন বৃদ্ধি পেলে সেক্ষেত্রে ওই দেশের কেন্দ্রীয় ব্যাংক সে দেশের অর্থনীতি পর্যালোচনা করে অর্থ প্রিন্ট করতে পারে যাতে মোট উৎপাদন এবং মোট অর্থ প্রবাহ সমান থাকে এতে প্রচুর গবেষণা আর সময় ব্যয়ের দরকার পড়ে এছাড়া পুরাতন নোট বা নষ্ট হওয়া নোট রি ইস্যু করতে কেন্দ্রীয় ব্যাংক প্রতি বছর নতুন নোট তৈরি করে থাকে যাতে বাজারে অর্থের প্রবাহ সঠিক থাকে তবে দেশের যদি মুদ্রা সংকোচন হয়ে থাকে তবে এই কাজটি করা যেতে পারে একটা উদাহরণ দিয়ে শেষ করা যাক জিম্বাবুয়েতে একটা চকলেট কিনতে ব্যাগে করে টাকা নিয়ে যেতে হয় একবার ভেবে দেখুন তো থলে ভর্তি টাকা নিয়ে হাতের মুঠোয় মাত্র একটি চকলেট নিয়ে আসতে হচ্ছে কেমন লাগবে আপনার সব কিছু জানার পরেও কি চাইবেন সরকার ইচ্ছে মতো টাকা ছাপিয়ে জনগণের হাতে তুলে দিক ইয়েস অথবা নলিখে কমেন্টে জানিয়ে দিন আপনার মূল্যবান মতামত